but I just wanted to let you know that I'm really, really sorry for all the things I've said. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. If you're looking for me, you know where to find me. Take care now. Bye. viewers and what a wonderful day it is today and it's fantastic to have your company. Now I'm in Calendar and I'm going to have a gentle stroll along the riverbanks and just see what's going on. Come, walk with me. You know, the older that I'm getting, the more fragile you understand life to be. I think it's good, right enough, to motivate yourself and get out of bed and enjoy each day to the best of your ability. It really is important, folks. Oh, park bench, park bench. Oh, that's a very nice one at that. Very nice. This is a marvellous place to go for a stroll, and great if you've got company with you. I wonder how James is doing, actually. He would have loved this. He really would have. Now, for the viewers that have watched me over the years, you know I do like a good educational information board. And yes, my rubber finger's back. Calm down, folks. I know you're excited to see it. Look at it, fantastic, and great for making a point. Now this is something that fills my heart with joy, even although it's a sad subject. What a wonderful way to remember a loved one that has passed on. Much better than a gravestone, in my opinion. Absolutely wonderful. People often ask me, where did your passion for nature come from? Well, see, I was very lucky as a child, as I lived very close to nature. It was on my doorstep, practically. Now, what did I learn? Well, I learned to be curious, to discover the world of animals, insects, flowers, plants, and even trees. I also learned to be alone, enjoy myself, and feel at home far from my parents. That was the best part. Now, as you can clearly see, I've kept my curiosity up to this present day, and I still love to spend as much time as possible amongst nature. I try to do it every week, folks, and that's crucial to physical and mental health. We all need a bit of that. Now, I lost my parents when I was relatively young, and sometimes I feel I can still hear them talking to me in the breeze. Silly, I know, but it means something to me, folks. Speaking of that, I miss James, I really do. Oh, I've got an idea. This is worth a shout. Two seconds, folks. Hello, it's, hello, it's Lord Beastie again. 
Lily, JJ Superfan, how are you doing? Is James there? Oh, I'm not. Hi, Jock. I've not heard JJ for a long while. I hope you find him. Okay. And Doc, okay, to you, Lily. Oh, well, I'll just have to keep hoping that James will pick up the phone eventually. Now, we're going to navigate over the fields as there's something wonderful I want you to see. And this is the way we're going to go, folks. Now, after 10 minutes walking into the field off the main road, I discovered this fantastic area where people have been laid to rest. It really has an incredible tranquility to it, and what an enchanting backdrop. This is a great resting place. It's true what they say, you know. Adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is always going to be patience. It's beautiful when you think about it. You're a liar At least all of your friends are So I Jock James James I love you James I'm sorry Sorry we can get past this Jock I'm not gonna alarm you Well there's a big black ring behind you But you've got a brown ring Oh I see what you mean Oh James, I'm going to touch it. No, I'm going to touch it. No, no, I'm going to touch it. Get off. Jock, let me touch it. Are we? I'm touching it, the new. Trust me. Come on, move. No, no. Get away from me. Get, yeah. get back. I'm going to touch it, right? Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it tingles. What do you think it could be? Could be aliens. Could be aliens. Could be. Think we should go inside the big ring? Let's go on an adventure! Okay, let's go! 